The anniversary of the fateful day in 2015 when Guatemala's Navy officers invaded Belize's territorial waters at the Sarastoon and confronted the Belize National Coast Guard passed on Sunday without much fanfare. It was on May 28, 2015, when the Belize National Coast Guard officers who were on routine duties at the Sarastoon Island, which is clearly in Belizean territory as stipulated in the 1859 Border Treaty, and told to leave by the Guatemalan Navy. The Coast Guard officers stood their ground and marked the start of a significant increase in aggression by our neighbor to the south and west. The Belize Territorial Volunteers considers it an important milestone in Guatemala's unfounded claim to Belizean territory, and today sponsored an excursion to the Sarstoon Island to see what has changed. PD PGTV was along on the trip, and here is what we saw. The trip to the Sarstoon today included media, a couple of tourists, and members of the Belize Territorial Volunteers. Along the way, we spotted obvious signs of illegal fishing activities allegedly by Guatemalan fishers well inside of Belize's territorial waters. Well, I mean, cutting down of mangrove is illegal. Cutting down of mangrove without a permit is illegal. And clearly those were mangroves that was in the water. And clearly it was done by Guatemalan. And again, you know, it's just a lack of enforcement. So we need to enforce the law. Uh, I don't know if it's a new practice. It's been going on for some years now, but you know, we, the point is that our laws are being broken. It's, you can't just cut a mangrove like that. It's very important for the ecosystem to function. And if everybody cut a piece of the mangrove, then what will be there for the, to sustain the fish life or to sustain the marine life? You know, it's very important to keep the mangroves. Once at the Sarstoon, the expedition checked in with a forward operating base. Romero, Aaron Hume, Patrick Jones gave the names of everyone on board the vessel and then proceeded to the, de to the designated area on the north banks of the Sarstoon Island. The clear instruction from the officers at the forward operating base was do not go around the Sarstoon Island. BTV leader Will Mejia hoisted the Belize flag on the north bank of Sarstoon Island with the intention of marking the confrontation two years ago that marked an increase in Guatemalan aggression towards Belize at our southern border. So this is the second anniversary of two years since they instruct us to the coast guard to leave the island. Right? No. We come back. We can't let this day go unnoticed because that was the day when, for the very first time, Guatemala came into Belize territory and basically ordered our armed forces to leave the island. But clearly, 1859 treaty showed that this island belonged to us. It's our island and we have to take this island. We cannot allow it to go away. We just pulled up by the military base, they instructed us we can't go around, we will listen to the military, we don't want to. But it's our island, we are here today to plant this flag so that Belizeans never forget that this island belongs to us and to no one else. But while the Sarastoon Island is ours, Guatemalan fishermen have been plundering the marine resources at the Sarastoon within clear view of Belizean law enforcement authorities stationed at the forward operating base. That, coupled with alleged land incursions in areas such as Otosha and Halakte, have not gone unnoticed by the Belize territorial volunteers. <laughs> 